Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of r slash tales from tech support. In today's episode, the past comes back to haunt us. Poor Granny Angry Lady Dentist Regrets Belittling Our Computers and Support Tech, Me Things Just Didn't Click Right Away Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. The past comes back to haunt us. Mid-2000s I was working for a large national financial company headquartered in the Midwest. We provided services for thousands of field agents. I was in the help desk supporting communications problems, dealing with VPN, T1S, and other network equipment in remote offices. Part of our function was to coordinate internal communications of field outages and issues with other help desks in the company. There's your background setup. One fine sunny day we begin getting support tickets of a bizarre message appearing in one of the, the dozens of custom mainframe applications used by this company. Initial response suspected our network had been compromised. We engage the typical protocols and communicate the situation to upper management and inter teams. We begin to get more details about the issue and learn the issue appears when a user attempts to access a certain screen in the custom application. This particular application is the company bread and butter so it has AP1 status. The message users get is bad pizza displayed on the screen and no way to exit out of it. For a network compromise this looked like some sort of red herring to distract us or a really bad prank. Multiple inter teams are investigating over several hours, not making any progress. We bring in another system engineer. Someone who has been with the company for a few decades. He is a very chill guy and doesn't show any emotions when discussing any subject. His troubleshooting skills are awesome and never seem to fail to solve the most complex issues. He stops by my desk and asks me for details about the problem. I give him the TLDR on it and the message the users see. He's thinking about this for about 15 seconds when his eyes light up and begins laughing. He says he knows what is wrong and heads off to discuss it with another team. Later he comes back after the issue is resolved to update me. A couple of decades earlier when he was working as a programmer on the mainframe, he was working late one night. He ordered some pizza delivered to the office. The pizza he ordered was not very good and so he put some comments in the coding about the bad pizza. That code manifested itself to show up now on users' screens. Moral of the story, talking to the right person can get you the answers you seek. Poor Granny Scene 2003-4 working at a tiny dial-up IS. This company was shady as hell and after a while, I had to leave I couldn't morally support their business. Call details. PG, poor old grandmother who can barely use her TV slash VCR. Me IT guy. SM, sympathetic manager. BO, bastard owner. Call comes in. Me, thank you for call sketchy internet how may I help you? PG, yeah I came in this afternoon because my grandson found me a computer and wants to play games on the internet while he's here so bought it and the internet. They gave me a silver round thing to put in the computer, but I can figure out where to put it. Me, oh okay. Can you tell me what it's you have that make up the computer? PG, I have the TV part and the box part. Me, okay, we're going to start with the box thing. Is it powered on? PG, it's plugged in, but nothing's lit up. Me, I'm okay. If you look at the front of the box, tell me what you see. PG, I see a long box with cords running into it. Me, okay, the cords, what cords do you have that are connected to the box? PG, hang on, crawls under desk. So I just have the little box and one wire is attached to it, the others are just laying on it. Me, hum, 
Wait you said little how big is this box? PG, about 1 by 2. Me, realizes it's a floppy drive, and it has a slot in the middle that goes almost across with a button that can't push in and a little space for a light? PG, Y-E-S-S-S-S, what do I do? Me, is your grandson there now? PG, no, why? Me, if my suspicions are true, you grandson didn't he actually get you a complete computer? PG, then what the f asterisk ck did I pay $200 for? Me, sorry to say I think you bought a monitor and a floppy disk drive that fits inside a computer. PG, so not a whole computer. Me, let's do this, please bring just the box over to the office right now, and I will confirm. PG, okay, thanks and sorry to not know. Me, it's okay, well figure it out. See you soon bye. One hour passes. PG it from desk, hello I'm PG, and I was working with IT Ninja, is he around? Me, stepping into lobby, oh hey PG, let's take a look at what you have there. It was an external zip drive. Me, okay, yes this is not a full computer, I'm so sorry. PG to SM, can I please get a refund? I never activated, and now it looks like I have to save up and buy a new PC first. SM, let me check on that. SM goes and talks to BO for approval. BO screaming, hell no she can't have her money back, just because she was too dumb to know better. Me, it was an honest mistake BO, come on. B.O., nope sorry about her luck, but she prepaid for the year, and we don't issue refunds for annual prepaid. Me, seriously? S.M., calm down. Let's go chat with her. Takes membership cost out of wallet. P.G., so sorry for all that, here to you, have a good day. P.G. Oh thank you, I'm sorry for the inconveniences and issues. Still one of my top 5 silly customer calls. Angry lady dentist regrets belittling our computers and support tech, me. I worked a dental technology company in a small English-speaking European country. This story starts when, a dentist got a quote for both hardware, 3 to 4 computers plus network hub, printers, etc., and our software, practice management system, she complained that our computers were way more expensive than Dell, but ignored the fact that ours were business spec and she was comparing with Dell's cheapest home computers. She refused our computers and all hardware, since her friend works for Dell and he can get them cheap. Note, this also meant she declined our hardware support contract, opting only for the software support contract this becomes relevant later. Note also, she was aggressive slash confrontational all the time. A short while later, her Dell computers were installed, so I arrived at her practice to install our software and train her and her staff how to use it. First training session, with more to follow once they learn the basics. The dentist opted out completely from sitting in on the training and assigned only one dental nurse to sit in on the training, ordering me train her, and she will train the others. I suggested that might not be a good idea, but she insisted she knew better than me. Okay. While I was training her dental nurse, who incidentally looked like she might be regretting taking the job here, the dentist came in and noticed I was training the nurse how to do the basics, like create a new patient file, enter some basic dental charting, etc. She interrupted by telling me to stop wasting time on that and teach her how to take payments and do some of more technical account stuff. I explained that she needed to learn the basics first because all the advanced stuff requires the basics be entered correctly first. But she got really angry and said this is my practice and I call the shots. You will teach her what I tell you to. Are we clear? I again tried to explain but she shouted over me I said are we clear? I said okay. I'll do that so I spend the next few hours trying to explain to this confused dental nurse how to finish tasks in the system, she didn't even know how to start. When I left she was both apologetic and still confused. 
Of course I filled my boss in on the day's happenings, which he wasn't surprised by. Fast forward a month and the dentist had called our software support team multiple times complaining that her patient files and patient accounts were a complete mess. And of course it was our software to blame. It was explained to her that she wouldn't let me train her staff the way they should have been trained. She got angry and hung up. But that's not the best bit. One day about six months later, I'm on the road driving to a client site, as usual, and my boss phones me telling me this dentist called to say her main computer has crashed and we need to get there now to fix it. He thought this was the case until I reminded him that she didn't have our computers because she got the cheap Dell computers instead. Suddenly her remembered that fact and also that she had refused our hardware contract also. He told me it was my decision if I wanted to do her a favor or not. I told him to call her back and tell her to call Dell. LOL. Dell, of course, only offered to send a replacement drive, so she had to hire an expensive IT firm to reinstall Windows and the network connection, etc. Not to mention, she lost data too. I never heard from her again after that, I think she blamed us for her problems and stopped using our software. But we were glad to be rid of her, because she had an outstanding bill with us, and was refusing to pay because of all this stuff that wasn't our fault. Things just didn't click right away. Let me start off by saying that the dollar user is a great guy who is always very respectful of my time and always conveys sincerity in his thanks of all the times I have helped him. I would do anything to help him out any time. So I get a call last night from dollar user that his laptop is having issues and is very slow and unresponsive. This is a fairly new laptop that he has only had for two months or so. Dollar user indicates that it was working fine until earlier in the day when it started to get worse. I walk him through some things and from his description is that when he logs in everything is completely unresponsive. I guess that it is a corrupt profile and have him log into the local admin account which exhibits the same behavior. I ask him if he is going to be in the office the following morning and it turns out he is quarantined due to his entire family having COVID. I let him know that since it is completely unresponsive that there isn't much I can do at that time. I let him know that I will get a new one set up for him and run it out to his house first thing in the AM. I don't mind getting paid for a nice quiet drive to break up a Wednesday. I get into the office and set up his new laptop, sync his OneDrive and test it out real quick. Everything is fine so I drive it out to his house and leave it out for him to grab. I wasn't about to take the old one due to COVID risk and told him to call me if he has any issues. Five minutes later I get a call that it is doing the same thing. I walk him through a bunch of stuff over the phone while driving back to the office, but it sounds like it's doing the same thing. I'm racking my brain trying to figure out what is in common so I had him remove the docking station from the equation which has no effect. I let dollar user know that it'll be in the office in 10 minutes and we can try to do a remote session. I walk him through trying to get connected to Wi-Fi which took 10 more minutes. Once he was connected I remoted into the computer and everything seemed completely normal which he even commented that it seemed normal for me. I have him give it another try and he can't click on anything very well so I ask him to use the trackpad buttons and lo and behold it works fine. What he was perceiving as delay was just the mouse not registering click due to what I assume was a faulty left mouse button switch right button worked fine. He was so embarrassed but happy to be up and running on his normal machine. We just chalked it up to COVID making things 1000x more difficult because had I been able to see the machine it would have been resolved in 3 seconds.